Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at this UFO Catcher Prize, which is a figure of the character Yuzuriha from the series Jigokuraku, aka Hell's Paradise. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so we'll just take a quick look at the box here before we open her up. Uh, sorry for the shiny ring light, I'm just trying to light this properly, but anyways. So right on the front, we've got the character herself right there, just a nice close-up shot. So here's the name of the series, uh, Jigokuraku, aka Hell's Paradise. Jigoku is like hell in Japanese. And the character's name right there, Yuzuriha. I think uh, Luminasta is the name of the maker of this figure. And apparently also Sega helped make this. Wow, great. On the side, we've got a nice uh, long shot here of the character. It looks like she's going to come with this cool long thing going on here. That's kind of interesting. And then once again, we've got the name of the series and her name and everything. On the other side is a close-up, once again with the name and just of her. And then also, as you can see, it was only 1650. This is, uh, I don't know when this originally came out, but I just found it at a shop for 1650. Pretty darn cheap, so I decided to pick it up. On the top again is just the name of the series there. And I believe this is the kanji for her name, Yuzuriha. On the back, you've just got your technical information right there. It would appear I've paid for it, that's good to know. And then interestingly, they actually have the instructions on how to put the character together. Usually that's a separate piece of paper in the box with the figure, but uh, it seems for this one they just printed it right there, maybe because it's so simple. But uh, I guess that's a good way to save on, you know, paper and stuff. So I imagine inside is just going to be her. That's going to be it. Okay, so let's get this ridiculously shiny wrapping off. I think this is the store's wrapping, actually. So uh, I'll pull this off and then we'll take a closer look. So as I'm opening this, I should explain that I know nothing about this character. I've never watched the show, I've never read the manga, I think there's some game that has a few of the characters too. Uh, I know nothing about it, but I am a sucker for Kunoichi, so female ninja. Um, so if I see a cool one, you know, cool outfit or something like that, I'll often pick them up. And this one was so cheap, so it just seemed like, yeah, why not, let's just grab it. So I just looked it up on the internet after I got the figure and just to kind of look a little bit into what this character is. But so basically my review of it here is going to be completely based on just the figure itself and not comparing it to like the show or how she appears in the shows or anything like that. Um, so it's going to be fairly non-biased because I have no attachment to the show whatsoever. After all, it did come with a second <laughs> set of instructions. It's the exact same thing printed on the back of that. It's funny they included it twice like that. Okay, so she comes with not really accessories, but just a few parts she's going to be on. This thing is pretty crazy. Not even sure what this is. It almost looks like, like she's controlling water or something like that. But it's this nice kind of soft plastic, fairly transparent really huge piece it's pretty cool looking actually and then the hand is just attached to it and the hand is nicely detailed there it's quite fine the fingers and everything are all really well done she's got little nails on there next up she's got this base just i don't know just a rocky dirty base uh, i almost feel like like there's pretty much no paint on this there's just this brown and then this gray this i might actually weather this and just put a little wash on here to bring out all this interesting texturing because it's well sculpted it looks good there's roots and you know all that kind of stuff it just I think it just needs a little extra to make it pop it would probably really help it quite a bit and some extra little support which I guess judging by this is going to go maybe for this the big water strip or something like that I guess we'll see once we put it together and then the figure herself well, mine seems to be a little scuffed up here. I wonder if I can take a little eraser maybe and fix that up. I don't think this is a used one. It seems to be new when I opened it, but she does have a few little marks here and there, eh? A few little scuffs. She's also got something weird going on in her leg. Some gloss slopped over. Usually these figures are really cleanly done, but this one's got a few little sloppy parts here and there. Aside from that though, she looks pretty pretty nicely done. The hair's got this good fade. 
Oh, look at that. There's more slop here on it. Oh my god. What is that sloppy paint on her hair? I wonder if I can uh, scratch this off, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's coming off a little bit. Let's try a little doctor work, shall we? So normally these figures, these UFO catcher figures, are usually really, really cleanly done, and the paint has almost zero slop and stuff like that. But unfortunately, this one seems to be a little sloppy. I don't want to scratch it too much. I think I'm going to scrape away the light pink paint there. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised she has so many little marks straight out of the box. Hmm. Anyways, let's take a look at her before we put her all together. Um, so I think she's kind of a kind of a mean character, from my understanding. She's a bit sassy or a bit a bit rough around the edges. So that explains the kind of angry face she's got. The printing on the eyes looks nice. It's really clean and sharp. The hair, despite this weird little blob that I got on mine, otherwise it's really nicely done with this fade happening. And this is sort of a soft soft plastic here on these pieces and then a harder plastic on these front pieces. I like how this black band it kind of bulges in looks like it's tight on her and then you get to see like muscle and stuff like that. The sculpting seems pretty decent on it. She's got a cool little hairpin back there. Uh, her coloring is fairly pale. She's very white, very lightly colored. She's got some cool cuffs going on, some ninja cuffs I guess. On the back, she's got her sword, her katana, sitting in there, nicely tucked into the belt. She's got some canisters, probably some medicines or poisons or something like that. This belt piece is also just a soft plastic. Then, of course, she's got the exposed thigh thing that many of these female Kunoichi ninja have. It's always a nice little touch. And then down at the bottom, she's got surprisingly simple boots. These boots are kind of weird. Usually ninja boots will have like, you know, some tie here or here or something, but this is just a smooth black piece. Uh, I guess that's easier for animation, but it almost looks like she's just wearing socks. She's not actually wearing any shoes or anything. And then she's got these long dangly pieces. Not really sure what those are, but just looks cool. Aesthetically, it's interesting. So let's put her onto the base and we'll also put that other hand on, shall we? Okay, so this clear piece, as you can see, is holding her knee because she's kind of leaning forward. She's a bit front heavy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Um, I think it would have been better if they had made this instead of being like a soft plastic, if they had just made this a hard plastic and that probably would have been enough to support the front of her, it seems like. But maybe because it's this milky transparent material or something, they had to make it a softer plastic. So they needed it? I'm not really sure, but this, just, this really stands out. Even though it's clear, you know, they went through that effort to make it clear, but it still does stand out. Uh, but overall, she looks pretty cool. She's got a nice shape going on there. It is a very dynamic pose with this watery thing. If you know what this is, let me know. I'm, I think it's water. It seems like she's controlling water or something. Maybe it's a scarf or something. I don't know. It seems very watery. Uh, but yeah, overall, I would say it's a good figure. It is lacking in some ways. The paint app is really messy on certain parts of her, like the hair and the arm. Um, the base really could use a touch-up. They could really use some extra coloring to help it uh, pop. It's a little too basic, I would say. And uh, this piece here, I feel like they could have engineered this in a smarter way to kind of uh, either hide it better or just replace it by making this a harder piece. 
But I think overall, it's not so bad. It's fairly sizable figures. You can see it's pretty big. And uh, she looks good. The sculpting is good. And the paint that is clean, that worked, looks good as well. Just a little side note. Uh, you can see she's got this kind of purple outfit here. Um, most people think ninja clothes are traditionally black, but actually it was pretty rare that they would have black clothes as generally what this obviously is not what a real ninja's outfit looked like, but real traditional ninja are wearing like farmer's clothes. It's like a farmer's jacket or shirt and farmer's pants. And then they would generally dye them like a dark green or a dark blue. Blue is expensive actually to make. It's kind of harder, but dark green, dark brown, things like that. Uh, that way they could kind of blend in and just look like a farmer uh, and then don a mask or something when they had to do their dirty work and then blend in with everybody after. Uh, so black would not have blended in very well. It would have stood out. And so they didn't generally wear black just like that. Something like a purple is kind of a royal color though. So you wouldn't have really seen anything like that. And uh, the Kunoichi, the female ninja, uh, pretty much never wore the ninja outfits. They were essentially just women that were like spies, so they would, you know, look like some uh, Michael or Geisha, as people would probably know them, and then, you know, sleep with people or just get close to people at parties and things like that to get info and, you know, listen in on conversations or get the guys drunk and then uh, get some details out of them. So this kind of ninja never really existed. Obviously not like this, <laughs> but just this kind of female ninja wearing these, the ninja clothes, the kind of classic ninja clothes that didn't really exist. But uh, just visually, it's a cool, cool image, right? So that's why they became so popular over the years. But anyways, there you go. All right, so that is Yuzuriha from the series Jigoku Raku. If you think, if you have watched the series and you know it, let me know if you think this is a good representation of this character. I'm not really sure, but uh, overall, I think the figure is good, but there's a few little glaring problems here and there, uh, essentially with the paint and this that, you know, take it down a few notches, but for $16.50, that's pretty darn cheap. So I can't complain too much. And uh, yeah, I might weather this base a bit just to make it a little cooler looking. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, leave them below. I'll try to do my best to help out. Otherwise, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.